Hi, I'm Melissa Francis with Timeless Creations and today I'm going to show you what to do with our resin embellishments. We have tons of different styles of our resin embellishments and I'm constantly asked, as they come kind of in a white, kind of a shabby chic look, and I'm constantly asked, what do you do with them? Can you color them? Can you do all kinds of different stuff? Well, this episode, I'm going to show you a few things that I've done with the resin. So I just want you to look down here. I've got a bit of a collection of what I've done. These ones are really cool. They would be really great for like a 25th anniversary or a 50th anniversary or just, you know, Christmas or if you really like that kind of bright color. And I just took silver spray paint that I got at the craft store. Very, very simple. This one, I actually use watercolors, and I'm gonna show you today how to use the watercolors. And this one right here actually is done with the Copic markers, and I'm gonna show you that today too. So you can see there's all different kinds, but we're gonna get right into it. I'm just gonna push all of these aside, and I'm going to show you with a little resin right here how you can use Copic markers. I love Copic markers. They come in a lot of different colors. And today I'm just gonna work with a few, but one of the things that's my favorite is the Zero, and a lot of people and it's kind of, they call it the blender, it really isn't a blender. To me, it's more like it takes it off. It gets that, you know, if it's too bright and you don't really like it, and you want, it's more like an eraser. You can see I've already started coloring with the Copic markers. I've just put in yellow where the yellow is, and I put um, the pink where the pink is. And then you're just gonna come in, and you're just gonna color the green where the leaves are. And for TV, I'm just doing this really quick. I would be a lot more precise if I was doing it for myself for the purpose of time and then this is the zero that I was talking about and you're just going to come in and you can just see see how it just kind of it just lightens it up and the one thing that's really important that I should tell you that if you're going to switch from one color to another you really need to just kind of wipe off on a paper towel see how it's a bit green and it's gone clear and then you're just going to come in and you're just going to lightly go over the pink I should stay doing the same colors and just go like that and then the yellow. You can just see how you get the shabby chic. And again, you would just do the whole thing. I'm just trying to show you really quick how you can get that, cut, that look. And then another really cool idea is you can use watercolor pencils. When you're putting it on, you're going to be kind of like, what's going on? You definitely need a paintbrush or a water brush, and you need um, some water. So I'm just going to do that right now. And what you're going to do is you're just going to take your watercolor and you just kind of scratch it on like that and you're thinking okay well, so this is looking really yucky but honestly it's really cool what you do you just put your, your uh, paintbrush in the water and you just go like this and it magically starts to just kind of see how pretty that is and again for time I don't really have time to do the whole thing but you can get the general gist of it and so that's kind of how you do it now I just want to show you this really cute little card um, it's you can see it with the resin on here with it being white It's very very shabby chic and it's very beautiful as it is But for those people that like the pop of color you can see um, what I've done here I've just done this was the watercolors really simple just kind of scratch it on and then just take the your um, Paintbrush and just kind of spread it around and you can see right there. It really is um, quite a bit of a difference so I'm Melissa Francis with Timeless Creations and I want to thank you for joining me today and I look forward to seeing you next time.